hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can boost your fps fix lags and stutter in Wuthering Waves v2.4 dropped recently. This update is huge and is causing a lot of issues in low-end PC. So this guide is gonna be covering all of the best Windows settings as well as the best game settings to optimize your performance. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and open this thing up. Once you're over here, come down to personalization and then head over to colors. Over here, disable transparency effects and this will help you to disable translucent effects on your windows screens. Next, head over to the gaming section and then click on game bar and simply turn this thing off. This will disable game bar to open up by pressing the shortcut keys because it is an overlay service and disabling that will help you to improve some performance in your games. After that, click back on gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. And this will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background and disabling unwanted notifications to improve your gaming experience. After that, click on the graphics button over here and then enable optimizations for windowed games and this will help you to reduce input latency if you're using windowed full screen modes. Then click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling since this will help you to utilize your graphic card primarily to render the game. After that, click on the add desktop button over here and then add your wuthering waves into this list. If you guys are unaware of your game's location, simply right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you are over here, copy this file path. Now paste it right over here and press enter, then scroll a bit down until you find wutheringwaves.exe and then click on the add button. Once that is added, scroll all the way down until you find it, select it and then for the GPU preference, select high performance. After that, you want to have to come back to the same folder over here and then you have to head over to Wuthering Waves game, then client binaries win64 and then you'll find the client win64shipping.exe. This is the main game file so do not skip this step. Click on the add button and once that is added, scroll all the way down, click on that and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here and once that is done, simply close your settings. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is compatibility settings and for that, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files over here. Head over to the Wuthering Waves game folder, then client binaries win64 and then you have to right click on your win64 shipping.exe click on the properties button and then head over to the compatibility tab click on disable full screen optimizations then click on change high dpi settings and select this option click on ok and then click on apply and this will help you to reduce all kind of unnecessary input latency in the game next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that simply head over to group policy editor and this option will only be available if you are a windows pro user simply come over here double click on computer configuration administrator templates windows components app privacy and right over here you will find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and ensure that this is set to enable this will enable this policy and default for all applications should be set to force deny click on apply and then ok and this will help you to disable all kind of applications running in the background allowing you to save a lot of cpu and ram resources for gaming 
Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is MS Config, and for that, simply search for MS Config on your PC. Head over to that, click on the boot section, and then click on Advanced option. Select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors over here. Click on OK, and then enable this option that is no GUI boot. Click on apply. Then head over to the services tab and then click on hide all Microsoft services. Now you have to disable all unnecessary services which are consuming your CPU resources. Disabling as many of them will help you to save a lot of your CPU power, reduce your BIOS booting time and help you run the game much more smoothly. I would highly recommend you guys to disable all kind of fan control services, RGB services, browser update services, printer services, and any other service which you feel is unknown to you. Ensure that you do not disable any kind of NVIDIA container service, BattleEye or VGC service because these are anti-cheat engines and without them your game will fail to open. Once that is done, click on OK and then click on Exit without restart. Next step is reducing the number of startup applications and this will help you to greatly reduce your BIOS booting time. Simply press Control, Shift and Escape all together to open up your task manager. Once you're over here, head over to the fourth tab that is Startup Apps and right over here you'll find all of the applications which are set to boot up right after you start your PC. You guys will also see a last BIOS time which should be around 10 to 12 seconds as a great sign of an optimized PC. Lower than that is even better. Over here, I would recommend you guys to disable as many applications as you can, which you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will help you to stop these applications from loading up, consuming your CPU and RAM resources in the background and reserving them until you shut down your PC. Turning them off will help you to boot these applications up only when you require them and hence you are saving a lot of processing power on your PC. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and press enter. Once you're over here, look for a local disk C and then click on create. Over here, I would recommend you guys to name it Wuthering Waves just so you can remember it. And I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Wuthering Waves V2.4 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in five simple folders over here which are really beneficial to optimize your PC for maximum performance. Right over here, the first folder is CPU Priority in which you'll find AMD CPU Priority as well as Intel CPU Priority. I would recommend you guys to select the priority according to your processor. I have an Intel CPU so I need to double click and apply the Intel CPU Priority. Could be different for you so you can choose one of them and it will help you to set up the correct D word value for your processor to improve the performance of your PC. Next is RAM Optimization in which I have left a ton of registries which are really beneficial to improve the performance of your RAM. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can apply it according to yourself. I have left a ton of presets and once again if that doesn't work out well you can reset it back to default using this last registry over here. Third one is the most important one which is Wuthering Waves Priority in which I have left above normal and high priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is Disable Unwanted Services in which I have left these services which you can disable to improve the performance of your PC. PC. While this is optional, disabling every single one of them will help you to get maximum performance if you have a low-end PC. Again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, do not disable these services but other than that, you guys can feel free to disable every single one of these services over here as they are completely unnecessary. And once again, if any of them causes any kind of issues, head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable them back right away. Last and not the least is the programs folder in which I have left three very useful programs. The first one is clean temporary files on which you have to right click on it as administrator. Once it opens up, you have to press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files from your prefetch and temp folder. I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then to keep your PC optimized. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0, simply right click on it as administrator. Once it opens up, look for your graphic card and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high to ensure that your graphic card can handle more interrupts and without overclocking your graphic card, you can improve the performance right away. Click on the apply button that is on the top right corner and then close this software. Next is Unpark CPU which is again a very simple tool, right clicking on it as administrator. This tool helps you to disable core parking on your PC. Right up on your screen you guys can see that there are only 5 cores which are currently running on my PC and 26 cores are currently parked. Windows by default parks these cores to save power and reduce heating. But if you guys 
have a good cooling system you guys can simply slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and then change the system power plan to ultimate performance if that is available and then click on set as active click on the apply button over here and then click on ok and this will disable all kind of power saving features on your pc which will ultimately help you to improve the performance of your games as well as your pc in general once that is done simply click on close and then close the fps pack Next step is deanimating windows and this is super beneficial. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and press enter. Once you're over here, click on adjust for best performance and then select save as well thumbnail for previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four settings will help you to keep the basic minimal look of your windows intact while disabling all kind of unnecessary animations right away. This will help you to slightly improve the performance of your windows but it is not really beneficial in terms of gaining FPS. Click on the apply button after that and then close it. Once you're done with everything, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Once you're in the settings, come down to graphics and then for the graphics quality, you have to ensure that you are down to balanced. You also have ultra performance mode over here for super low end PCs. I would go with balance right over here. Screen mode, I have set it to full screen, global filter, you guys can adjust it. Here are some filters and the one I like to apply is vivid. Click on the apply button and once that is done, go back. Now you have to come down to frame rate and set it to 120. For vsync, go with off. Special effects quality, go with low. Shadow quality, go with low. LOD bias, you guys can keep it medium. Capture AO off volumetric fog off and volumetric lighting off motion blur you can go with low or completely turn this thing off anti-aliasing keep it on bloom keep it on because it makes your game look a bit more colorful crowd density go with low enemy hit flash keep it on damage numbers on physics based animation off cutscene i have kept it to letterbox co-op teammate vfx on Co-op teammate VFX off, wounded effects on, interactive environment, you guys can keep it on, doesn't really impact a lot of your performance. Now under the advanced tab you guys now have Nvidia DLSS if you are using an Nvidia graphic card or AMD FSR if you are using an AMD graphic card. I would highly recommend you guys to turn this thing on and for the super resolution you guys can go with performance or balance, both of them works absolutely fine. I like to play on performance and for the sharpening you guys can keep it as it is. Ray tracing should be turned off. Once that is done, press your escape key and now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. Subscribe to the channel because it's free of cost and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Verifox and peace out.